Hey, church family, thank you so much for joining us for today's Daily Connection video. Uh, we're going to again be in Psalm 119 as we're talking about knowing God and, and kind of picking up where Brother Brent left off yesterday in verse 9 of Psalm 119 when, when the psalmist is, is uh, asking the question, how can a young man keep his way pure? And then we look in verse 10 and, and he kind of goes a step further. And we have to know that, that verse 9, is, is in effect, it affects what he's asking and what he's saying in verse 10. Verse 10, he says, I have sought you with all my heart. Don't let me wander from your command. So he's saying, how can a man keep his way pure? And he's saying, because I have sought you with all that I have, right? How can I keep, I want to keep your commands. I don't want to wander from what you've asked me to do. It's clear that this person is, is seeking purity, not just for the sake of seeking purity, he's seeking purity because he wants to, to be in line with what God wants him to do. He wants to, he doesn't want to wander from God's commands. And and I truly believe that the psalmist here, as he's, as he's talking about purity, he's not talking about uh, just specifically physical purity. And I think sometimes when we talk about seeking purity, that's, what, that's all we really think about is, is physical purity. Uh, but purity goes far beyond just a physical purity. We have purity in our words, purity in our thoughts, purity in our desires, purity in our language. Uh, purity uh, exists in so much more than just relationships. And so... Um, man, it, we should seek purity in all those things, and we should seek purity in those things because we want to please God, because we want to, to be in line with His commands. Um, so uh, that's kind of the, the message that, that we have here in Psalm 119.10. And, and as we do that, as we seek his commands, we are beginning to know God in a deeper and a better level, right? We are, we are knowing what his commands offer us. We are, and as, we, as, we, uh, as he is sanctifying us uh, while we seek purity, we get to see him in a deeper way as well. So our author gives us a couple of questions to look at. The first one says, where do you identify impurity in your life? Where are there some areas in your life where maybe there is impurity? And our second question, how would seeking God with all your heart affect this? How could seeking God with all that you have help you work through those areas of impurity? I hope that you truly will uh, take some time this week, even today on this Tuesday, to uh, seek out those impure areas of your life and and see how, how it could affect, um, affect your relationship with God. And as you are doing that church family, we want you to know that we love you and we're praying for you.